Hello and welcome to this video. This is Digital Literacy, one of the standards of the New York State Computer Science and Digital Fluency Standards, and I hope to just take a few minutes and really give you a crash course in digital literacy. As you know, digital literacy is one of the five New York State Computer Science and Digital Fluency Standards. You can see it at the bottom of your screen. This is also the standards that I think teachers will be able to connect to some things that they're already doing a little easier, especially if they had previously looked at the ISTE standards. The topic of digital literacy is very similar to some of the ISTE standards, including digital citizenship. So what I'd like to do now is show you a quick two minute overview of digital literacy. Our students today are using the awesome power of technology to explore, connect, create, and learn in ways that some could have never imagined. Whether it's streaming video, apps, video games, or social media, students take in a huge amount of information from a wide array of sources, many which fall beyond the traditional media that parents and teachers may be familiar with. And students just aren't passively receiving media. They're also creating digital artifacts with different apps and social media. This reliance on technology creates some powerful opportunities as well as some potential pitfalls. For that reason, digital literacy is a vital skill for all students. Digital literacy is comprised of two main areas. Digital use, which includes the ability to utilize digital tools to create media responsibly and digital citizenship, which empowers learners to use online resources and platforms to promote positive and ethical behaviors online. Some skills associated with digital literacy include determining the validity of online resources, protecting their own and others' private information online, giving proper credit when using other people's work, curating a positive and effective digital footprint, and engaging respectfully with others with different beliefs online. Some educators have found that teaching digital literacy as a standalone lesson is not always effective. Many feel that it's better to incorporate these concepts into everyday activities. Through exploring digital literacy, students will learn about this multifaceted concept that incorporates both cognitive and technical skills. So what is digital literacy? Well, if I were to sort of paraphrase the longer definition down, I would kind of consider it using technology confidently and responsibly. So in my opinion, that's one of the big takeaways from this standard. Now, as you saw in the video, there's two different sub-concepts or two aspects of digital literacy when it comes to the New York State Computer Science and Digital Fluency Standards. One is digital use that requires activities and skills with using the digital tools to create media in a positive, responsible way. And the second part of that is digital citizenship using the online platforms and resources to promote positive and ethical behavior. So I wanted to take a look at the actual standards. You can see that this is the digital literacy standard, standard number one, and this involves keyboarding. So you can see right over here in the kindergarten section, it involves introducing the topic of keyboarding all the way to ninth grade, where the goal is to type proficiently on a keyboard. So there's a scaffolding that you should see built in with all of the individual standards that are in this particular standard of digital literacy. Now, another resource that New York State has given are some potential examples. So here's an example. This is that same standard, digital literacy, standard number one. And you can see the activities for kindergarten that involve practice their, their names and sight words using the keyboard, just a way to introduce keyboarding to kindergarten or first graders. Now, these are just sample activities. There's obviously more than one way to meet these standards based on the activities that you do in your classroom. 
I do want to warn you, some of these suggested activities I think are a little better than others. And just take a look down here. One of the suggestions was for students to fill out a blank keyboard from memory. I think there's a better way that, that you can teach that skill to students rather than just having them do an activity such as filling out a blank keyboard, but just my opinion. So just know that there's multiple ways to meet these standards. Now, here is another one. This is the digital citizenship subconcept under digital literacy. Now, I want to show you this one because you can see that in this kindergarten one area, there's nothing. And that is because some standards like the subconcept of digital citizenship under digital literacy start a little bit later. So there really isn't a digital literacy standard, standard number six for kindergarten and first grade. It starts in second grade. And this involves the information that's shared online, starting just some way that information has been shared all the way to actively managing a digital footprint. So again, you can see some of the suggestions that are here suggested from New York State as ways that teachers can create activities for students to meet these standards. So I wanna leave you with a few resources. You can see these in the description below. One is the actual New York State Computer Science and Digital Fluency Learning Standards. This will have all of the standards as well as the listing of the subconcepts. And this is the standards example. So the second slide that I displayed after each of the standards will give you lots of ideas how you can possibly meet those standards. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask.